This is Ricky Burns and you're watching Sport and Icons. Okay, so Martin Bacoli will make his long-awaited return to the squared circle on April the 22nd in Poland. And this will be on the Alan Babich versus Rosanski undercard. Of course, M2 will be fighting for the WBC Bridgeweight World title. Now, Martin Bacoli, he's been out of the ring for, what, a year? It must be about a year now since he defeated Tony Yoko. Of course, that win isn't looking too good now. That Carlos Takam just defeated Tony Yoko. Hey, it is what it is, though. Now, Martin Bacoli, he's going to be taking on um, a guy. Um, I forgot his name. I can't even pronounce it. Hang a second. Let me open it up. All right, here it is. Eeyore, Eeyore, it's my birthday, and everybody forgot again. Eeyore, from Winnie the Pooh, Shev, Shev Dusky, I don't know. Anyway, he's Ukrainian, um, he's nicknamed the Hulk. Yeah, now his record is 10 and 0, so you may go, ooh, that's pretty good. With eight knockouts as well, that's pretty good, but very, very, very padded now out of those eight knockouts he's been knocking out people with 49 losses 30 losses 31 losses 23 losses and so forth now his last two fights he went the distance with he went to points he went to points with Camille Sokolowski and Kevin Johnson nothing wrong going the distance with Sokolowski he's actually a very very good um, fighter I think his record doesn't do him any kind of justice some of those losses that he had should have been wins let's be honest uh, but going the distance with Kevin Johnson at Kevin Johnson's age that's not good. That's not a good look at all. It really isn't. But, hey, it is what it is. So, Martin Bacoli's going to be taking on this guy. Now, Martin Bacoli, I'm sure he's been shopped around by his trainer, Billy Nelson, for the best part of a year now, ever since he defeated Tony Yoka. And now he signed a contract with Boxer and Sky Sports. Now, up until this point, Billy Nelson's been telling everybody, through his extremely long nose hairs, that Martin Bacoli will fight anyone. Martin will fight him. Martin will beat him like Joe Joyce, like Dillian White, like Daniel Dubois, like this guy, that guy, and the other. In fact, Martin Bacoli called out Alexander Usyk the other day. Unbelievable. But now he's going to fight this guy. So now he's got a contract. Are we going to see him fight any of the guys that he mentioned? I don't know. Because now he's got a contract, he doesn't have to, does he? He can just see out his contract, getting whatever money he's getting, fighting these guys. Now, as I said, it looks pretty good on paper. And him defeating Tony Yoka was... Seen is very good, right? But again, Tony Yoko was a prospect. Like, like, like this guy is a prospect. I don't know how old this guy is or anything like that. I don't know too much about him. In fact, I've never seen him fight in my life. He looks like a big old lump, though. That's for sure. But 10-0 and 0 with eight knockouts looks pretty good, but absolutely padded. So very disappointing. Um, I was hoping Martin Bacoli will take on somebody that we've heard of. Somebody that's even half decent would be good. So like a Arsenbeck Makhmadov, that would have been good. A rematch with Michael Hunter to try and rectify the fact that he was trying to quit in that fight and Billy Nelson wouldn't let him. You know, throw any fighter, in, fighter into the fire, right? Ultimately, he ended up getting himself knocked out. But get that rematch with Michael Hunter. Huey Fury's on Sky Sports and Boxer. So is Josie Parker. Maybe get a Jared Anderson. He's meant to be the next real deal, right? What if I somebody who we know who they are? I've got a feeling that now he's got his contract, he's not too interested. That's what it looks like. Hopefully not. Hopefully this is just a get back in the ring. And again, why he's been out of the ring, I, I have absolutely no idea. Going by what uh, Brian Nelson said to me when he's uh, trolling me after, please, please, please. A word with Stephen Robinson. Stephen rematch Nick Campbell. Jog on. But it's almost like he was out of the ring because they were trying to get a deal. I mean, what, he couldn't fight while you're trying to get a deal? I guess he just wanted to sit on that Tony Yoka win. But anyway, listen, that's very disappointing, to be honest. Very disappointing. And it's a little disappointing as well in some ways that Sky Sports keep on announcing that they're doing fights abroad. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's good, right? But it'd be nice if they announced a whole bunch of UK fights. That would be good. You've got a lot of fighters that need to get out. Martin Bacoli, after that win over Tony Yoka, as I said before, not looking great since Carlos Takam defeated uh, Tony Yoka too. Shouldn't he be headlining somewhere against somebody who we know who it is? Him calling out a Dan Dubois is absolutely no good because he called out Dan Dubois, who's a Queensbury fighter. If you wanted that fight, then you should have signed Queensbury, right? 
But now you're going to be fighting Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Brilliant. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.